talk about on this second episode was we're gonna start off with struggle love. Yeah, that's the one. Struggle love. That's the one. Why do why do um and, and black culture specifically, why do we feel like we have to um go through the ringer or put someone through the ringer in order for them to prove their love to you? Like why is loyalty um a test all the time? It's like I'm gonna cheat on you. Will you still love me? Oh she do. Okay, I'm gonna keep her around. I'm gonna I'm I'm be broke. I ain't gonna have no jobs. She been with me when I ain't had no job for two years. Nigga, why you gonna have a job for two years? Two years. That's nuts, bro. Like, I feel like that whole situation is so layered because part of it is a lot of people were loved very conditionally as children, right? And so in order for me to feel like you actually want to be me. here, I have to give you conditions that are unbearable. Because if you can That's deal with these so unbearable okay. conditions, then that means true. that you are going to stay with me no matter what. I know you're not going to leave me and I have abandonment issues. So I'm going to tell you, baby. So make sure that you aren't like these other people. You're not going to give me conditions. Mm-hmm. And then finally, eventually, then they sprinkle a little bit more and like, okay, because I done cheated on her 50 times, I had two babies oh, on her. I did tear her. She needs the ring. She needs the ring. Now she needs the ring. And I'm going to give you 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 the ring. Baby, I'll buy my own ring. I don't need you to buy it for me. I ain't buying this bling, baby. Look. Okay. You know what, though? You know what I mean? I have to. You know what I love about this? Because people love to talk about like one part of their journey, right? So there's a part of your journey in your single season. There's a part of your journey when you are in your season of companionship. I bought myself a promise ring. I, I did the same thing. I bought myself a nice ring, and I said, anybody who wants to be with me is going to be too better than this. Because I had already been through the process of being in a marriage. I, mean, I had a bubblegum machine um, ring. You know what I'm saying? I, I had a bubblegum ring. A lot of people like to admit that I had a bubblegum machine. Baby, I had all of those rings my first marriage. You know what I'm saying? So then I told myself, I said, okay, well, you have to hold, you have to be willing to pour into yourself what you expect from somebody else. So I bought myself a diamond ring. This ain't it, y'all. This is the one Mr. Castro bought. Okay. So don't worry about that. But after one okay. point in time, no, let's worry about to whatever um, societal standards um, of the woman that you feel like she you don't get the fuck out of you. <laughs> like, no, no, I am not the most physically affectionate <laughs> person I'm looking at right now. Like, she said, get too far. Do not pick me if I cannot give you a hug. <laughs> but like, we just look so beautiful. We do. We do. Like, we do. <laughs> Okay, Tara, like what's yours? What's yours? <laughs> Don't wrap it up. Ooh, yes. I just appreciate y'all as well. Like, this is whole experience. It was so much fun. Yeah. But don't pick me. I don't want to have to minimize myself. I don't want to have to limit myself. I really prioritize freedom. Like, freedom is like a huge thing that I realize like everybody should have. Autonomy over themselves, autonomy over their lives. As long as you respect yourself, only what matters and move accordingly what feels best for you. I want y'all to make sure y'all good first. Like, have your boundaries set and I'm going to have to respect that. And it's like, when you're in a friendship, just like you're in a relationship, you just have to respect your friends, you have to respect the people that you love. So let them be free, let them be their authentic self. It makes life so much easier, it makes life so much fun. We don't take things so much personal. Yeah. And for me, don't pick me, and that's in any relationship, whether it's a platonic relationship, it's a friendship, it's a business relationship. Do not pick me if I have to operate out of anything other than what is Dominique. If I have to show up as anything other than me, it doesn't mean that I don't understand like certain environments and things like that, but it just means if I have to really change or present myself as something that is not me, do not pick me. Don't pick me for that job, baby. Don't pick me for that business partnership. Don't pick me for that friendship, baby. You can keep it. I'm not that worried about being chosen. I'm going to go to where I'm celebrated, not to where I'm tolerated. Wow. Look, bow, bow, bow. Bow. we have to prove our loyalty to you. Don't pick me. If we have to go through the ringer in order to receive love, don't pick 
Me. Me. And I want that for the younger people, right? I want y'all to learn from the lessons that we have learned in regards to struggle up. Yes. Please don't choose struggle yes. up. Please if somebody's don't. telling you that you have to be dragged through the ringer, yes. okay, like, baby, that you, you gotta that. tussle, that you gotta fight. Every that you gotta fight. Be fight for this love. Yeah. Yeah. Them. Like more thirty seconds. Yeah. Like, what is love? Don't look at me first. I don't know why y'all look this way. What is I'm love over here? To me, I just told you, love to me is just peace. I like to, um, I like to feel peaceful. My world is very chaotic. I live a chaotic life. Everything is just crazy <laughs> around me. But I like to um, feel peaceful in love. You know, even in friendships. You have a common spirit. Yeah, but even in friendships, and this this is love all around, friendship, family, everything. I like to feel peaceful, but I also like to feel hurt. Like I feel like a lot of times um, people don't really hear me in most personal relationships that I've had. That, like I don't, I'm not really heard, even though in my work everybody hears me. Like I, I can project that voice, but in love. In friendships or in romantic family. settings and family, yeah, like I'm, I'm not really heard and seen and or seen, yeah. So um, you got to feel me on this. Yeah, so it. that's like real. That's sustainable love. Sustainable love for me um, looks like me, like peace. So for me, love Feels like is a noun, a verb, and an adjective. Like love is emotion. Love is not only like a feeling but it's also an action yes. and love to me is a choice you choose to love every single day every day no i for me personally i don't think okay, like love is off, always peaceful right because sometimes there's going to be turmoil in love that's for me and how i see it because especially yeah. when it's two people and regardless of if that's a romantic relationship if that's a friendship two people who are very different from each other make the conscious decision to continue to love each other through friendship or through romantic relationship we're different so sometimes there's going to be conflict there's going to be a little bit of tension i think it's just a, a conscious decision of how you are choosing to, to treat that person how you're choosing to act towards that person how you're choosing to continue to love them despite that's how i view love it's like it's despite of these conditional things it's still something that i'm going to give i'm going to do and i'm going to Reflect back to the me. Indeed. Yes, you are love. Yes, you are love. Two smaller than I'm looking at.